hi and welcome also from my side to our first community meetup. Um, thanks a lot, first of all, for joining. And um, first of all, let me introduce myself again. My name is André Schreiner, and I'm a product manager at Software AG and also one of the initiators of the ThinEdge.io open source project. As Phil already um, indicated, I will give you a very short overview in case you are new to the project and then quickly hand over to the technical sessions and demos. Right, um, so before I start to deep dive on the framework itself and what we want to do within HIO, let me explain which challenges we wanted to address with this project. So when working on IoT projects um, in the past, uh, we and also our collaborator, collaborators in the project uh, observed a lot of issues in the area of device enablement, especially when it comes to connected devices, primarily the ones used in uh, operational technology and industry 4.0 use cases and environments. Um, there are always the same questions again and again. Um, for example, how to connect edge devices to the cloud without spending too much time and effort in it, on it, or more concrete, how to connect existing devices, so not new devices that you, you might buy, but existing devices uh, or assets, sometimes hundreds of different types of devices, such as uh, PLC gateways, protocol gateways, or various um, uh, type of uh, industrial gateways in general uh, to um, different IoT or cloud platforms. So now let's take a more detailed look on those challenges that, that I mentioned. So first of all, um, what happens is that cloud connections become more complex than initially um, um, yeah, a thought. So uh, cloud connections for uh, such type of devices that I mentioned uh, can become very complex developments, especially in the embedded or uh, resource constrained uh, devices. So when development teams work on this topic, it usually requires them to overcome challenges such as making sure that the connectivity is reliable and secure. Um, while for few teams, this might seem to be a simple task, for most cases, uh, we learned that this is a, a complex because there are um, security reliability challenges, uh, there are hard dependencies on certain frameworks and, and coding languages, and in general, um, there is often a lack of software uh, portability in the embedded space. That means that um, uh, you're developing a specific code for a specific device. Uh, additionally, when we say connecting devices to an IoT or cloud platform, we usually mean much more uh, because there are key questions like uh, how to perform over the air uh, software firmware up updates. Uh, just to give you an example, we have uh, customers, we have seen customers and use cases with uh, where customers try to connect more than 100,000 uh, devices uh, to IoT platforms uh, coming from different regions uh, uh, and uh, uh, different hardware um, and um, also the operating systems were, were different and uh, the software packaging approaches as well and uh, managing all those devices, making sure that the connection works and also the device management uh, um, aspect is, is difficult. And what it usually leads to is a high degree of customization uh, on the device, sometimes uh, teams are reinventing the wheel to establish secure and reliable uh, cloud connections. And finally, if existing frameworks are used, there is an ecosystem or vendor lock in, in a lot of cases. Um, so, and this is extremely problematic, especially in the embedded space, because those devices might stay in the factory or in the environment for several years and will always rely on some specific vendor or uh, IoT platform uh, for the the connectivity and device management aspects. Um, and um, yeah, uh, there are also customers who say, okay, we need to connect our devices to multiple uh, um, uh, platforms, maybe even in parallel to do different things in, in different platforms. So um, just to continue, um, this brings us to the ThinEdge.io open source project. And these are the challenges that we wanted uh, uh, to address uh, with ThinEdge.io. So the main objective of ThinEdge.io is to make devices cloud ready without any ecosystem or platform lock-in. So therefore we are creating a modular and lightweight IoT device framework. That's why we call it Thin, ThinEdge. 
uh, which can be deployed on resource constrained devices such as PLCs or protocol gateways. It allows, um, allows out of the box um, connectivity and device management features for the specific device without relying on a specific IoT or cloud platform. So the use cases for ThinEdge are, for example, situations where a customer has already an edge device or um, a different um, uh, software components for it, or the customer uh, had already a local machine with a PLC and now wants to connect this machine to the cloud to do, for example, device management. Or uh, customers that have various protocol uh, gateways for different industry protocols, which need to be connected uh, not only to the local SCADA system, but also an IoT uh, platform uh, to do, for example, uh, device management. So now let's uh, have a deep dive and let's have a look uh, about what Synedge is and which components um, are developed. Um, now, what I will show you is an, basically an overview of the different components. I will not go through all the details um, uh, as I leave that to the next technical sessions. But um, first, a general uh, point, the project is designed as an open source framework without any dependency on a specific cloud or IoT pl uh, platform. And we encourage contributions in all areas. So first of all, uh, to address the um, connectivity challenge uh, outlined previously, we created an open cloud connectivity and MQTT interface. And what this means, uh, th th what this uh, enables is out of the box connectivity to various IoT or, and cloud platforms. You see some examples on the right side. Uh, so we are using MQT, an MQTT broker for the uh, not only the cloud connectivity, but also for the internal um, uh, communication with a simplified MQTT payload format. Um, plus, um, um, we also um, have developed uh, mapping components or mappers uh, to overcome the issue of different payload format standards for different cloud platforms, but also for different services that might run on the uh, device. We support X549 um, certificate-based authentication. Um, sorry, just um, skipping a little bit. Um, um, to ensure the devices that register with those platforms um, can be trusted. And to ensure ease of use, and this is what you see uh, at the top, uh, we, instead of writing uh, code and configurations, ThinEdge contains a easy to use command line interface so with few commands, uh, you can connect your device and do other types of operations. You will see that later in the demos. And the second and um, one of the most important components is the uh, area of device management. So we uh, uh, introduced a device management and monitoring agent and this uh, device management agent can support uh, software management of different types of software artifacts. So at the moment, we support Debian package management, and we started with Docker management, uh, um, and with a plugin mechanism that we developed on top of this, we allow anyone to extend the device management and software management functionalities without um, writing complete new agents. So you can just create a plugin and manage uh, the type of software uh, that um, are, you are using on the device. Also, we have a monitoring capability, which allows you to monitor the health of uh, your devices and proactively initiate actions in case uh, the device seems to malfunction. Now coming more to the, to the left side of the diagram, the Synage components that I described can coexist and run next to other applications and components running on the device, which is usually the case. So uh, what you see on the left side are some examples for software that might run on, on those devices, PLC runtimes, protocol drivers, or existing applications that uh, are already deployed and running um, on the device itself. And um, we also, um, with using MQTT as an inter-process communication, open up the uh, capability to deploy additional um, services or modules or components on the device. So things like um, streaming analytics engines or uh, machine learning um, components that can interact over MQTT with other services and also the uh, cloud or IoT platforms. Now, um, summarizing the advantages, um, so we want to give you a complete freedom of choice. Um, so um, 
using uh, the platform, um, you can or using Synedge IO, you can decide for yourself which IoT platform you want to connect to. Um, we also keep it completely open which uh, programming language you want uh, you can use to extend the functionalities of Synedge IO. So we are not limited to a specific programming languages. Uh, language components can be written in any language, and the same. Um, applies to the message payload with our mapping mechanisms or uh, by using the simplified Synedge JSON uh, payload format, you can also um, yeah, overcome the payload problem um, and map to different payload standards. Um, we also want to make sure that Synedge can be deployed on most platforms. Right now, the focus is on embedded Linux systems. And um, uh, with Synedge IO, you also don't have to reinvent the wheel when it comes to device management. So we provide you, as mentioned, uh, out of the box uh, software management uh, capabilities with a plugin mechanism. So that can be easily extended. Uh, and the same applies to firmware management and configuration management uh, topics that we are planning to cover in the upcoming um, uh, releases. And we also bring in the generic monitoring capability. And one uh, last point, the, the key area for CNHIO is to be efficient. So we want to be as lightweight as, uh, and as efficient as possible when it comes to uh, resource consumption. So we are targeting embedded systems and we do not want to occupy too much resources that might be needed for other uh, processes um, and therefore uh, being lightweight is a is a key focus of the project now taking a quick look on where we are today so this is uh, a little bit of a timeline with uh, all the versions that uh, were published so far so we started in um, the beginning of the year uh, with the first preview in March, where we uh, implemented the, uh, all the MQTT uh, interfaces and also introduced the ThinEdge JSON payload format uh, with the mapping components first for um, uh, Comlosti AT, but also uh, in 0, 0 0.2, we uh, directly added the support for Azure IoT Hub, and we're working on uh, new um, um, yeah, cloud mappers to support other cloud platforms. Um, uh, device authentication via X5 and device certificates uh, was there from the beginning. Right now, it, it can be used very easily to do prototyping work, and we are also planning to extend that, and you will see more uh, around that in, in the upcoming demos. Um, so in 0 0.3, we uh, introduced the software management agent that I mentioned with a plugin mechanism uh, for Debian package management, and in 0 0.4, um, we uh, uh, also created a reference software management plugin for Docker that we also are planning to extend, uh, and also generic ability to download any software artifact from any source on the Synedge, um, so it can be used there for software management. And in the upcoming versions, um, we are planning support for things like child devices. Uh, we are planning also to extend the Synedge JSON um, um, payload format with um, additional capabilities like handling events and alarms. And, and there are some minor things like log reporting or configuration management uh, that will come soon. So last slide, um, now coming to my last slide, I want to encourage all of you to join our mission and to support this initiative. We believe that within HIO, we are addressing a real industry problem by creating an open and cloud agnostic standard for edge devices to simplify the interoperability between OT and IT. Um, and um, ultimately, this should allow any product to be simply and securely connected and managed by any IoT platform in an open way. Um, thanks, and now handing over back to Phil.